Hey everyone, Matt Basarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today to do another review of some travel items we have at the Emporium. Let's get started. Okay, I'm just getting started with my lather process. I put on some Parasso pre-shave lotion, and I always like to put that product on directly with my fingers and really work it into my beard. I've heard some people ask, do you use a brush with that? I personally don't, I'm not sure what anyone else does. For our soap today, we're gonna be using the, sorry, the Derby shave stick. I've already started to unwrap it. And I thought this would be another good opportunity to show how a shave stick works. And I've actually used a shave stick like the last two weeks, I've been traveling. I was in New York, and I've been going to uh, our local machine shop and trying out some new parts for the Ambassador razor. And I literally shave in the bathroom there, and <laughs> so I bring a shave stick. Now, this is how I like to use a shave stick. I get it kind of wet, and right over my pre-shave, um, I just kind of do some swirls. And, you know, sometimes like soap will kind of gather like this and oh, just slap that on. That's fine. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use my Omega Bore brush and we're going to just now start making some big swirls across my face. And this soap stick magically turns into a lather. There we go. More water. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Nothing like good old agitation. Uh, a lot of people say, I can't make a lather, it's looking kind of thin. Agitate, scrub, build that thin. A board's hairbrush does it really, really fast. You get a lot of exfoliation. That's pretty, that's pretty good. I always like going for that cush, you know, where you get it and it, it looks like that. You get the whipped cream kind of thing going on. And then time to smooth it out. I always like to kind of push it against the direction of my hair growth. So I'm really kind of making sure to lift up the hair for my last kind of pass with the brush. So, so far this, this, um, this shave stick, it's got a really super clean kind of laundry detergent, like ivory soap, 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 soapy soap kind of smell. It does not smell floral. It doesn't smell like some designer soap or artisan soap. It is, it smells like you're doing some laundry with some really basic soap from the, <laughs> from the dollar store. <laughs> what do you expect? It did make a you know, fairly decent cushy ladder. Let's see how it feels. Now to continue with this idea of travel, I'm gonna be using the Dorco PL602, and that is this guy right here. This is a really, really cheap, I think it's like under five bucks for this travel uh, razor, and it, it comes with two Dorco blades, which I'm not gonna use because I'm not a huge Dorco fan. I don't wanna addition the blades. I do really wanna give this uh, the old college try, and really you know, try, to, try to see how good it is. So I'm gonna use my go-to Paul Silver blades, so at least I'm holding that variable constant. And I'm kind of struggling to load those for a second. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the old approach. I try to do it like, you know, clever-like. Now I'm gonna do what you should do with the three-piece. Uh, kind of cheat using my thumb there to hold it in place, because you basically, you screw the handle, you twist the handle and the head comes off. So it's kind of a different design. There you go. So Paul Silver's loaded. I'm looking at the blade gap. It's not exactly even. <laughs> it's a little bit crooked, but it could be just this one. I mean, it's plastic injection molded, um, but it looks fairly good. Let's let's give it a shot. I'm gonna I'm really gonna try to like this, guys. Huh. 
pleasantly surprised. I thought it was gonna be like pulling a really bad blade gap or really you know, aggressive. It's really actually fine. In fact, this is nicer than some, some uh, metal razors I've used. This is nice. So if you're on the go, or traveling a bunch. Or worried about getting stuck in a metal detector or through customs or airport security or just don't want to have to travel much. You're going backpacking, every ounce counts. Not too shabby. So this would make a pretty, pretty handy little travel kit right here. And throw in the Parasso travel size pre-shave, you're golden. I think that once you get to a certain point with double edge razors, and experience of using a lot of different ones. You can kind of augment whatever you're using with technique. And you guys always see me doing skin stretching. And I'm even adjusting my angle. I'm, you know, it's more of a shallow angle than I was used to and it's also super, super light touch. I'm a guitar player, if you guys didn't already know that. And there's always kind of this mysticism around guitars, like, oh, that's Jimi Hendrix's guitar. That's, you know, it's Jimmy Page's guitar. As if somehow the guitar is this holy thing that delivers all the sound you're hearing. And you know, most of the sound comes from your fingers and really your technique and just, you know, your, your style. And in the same way, I think that if you have good technique, you can take any double edge razor to a, to a point and really, you know, really tweak it and really get to know it and make it, uh, make it shave decently for you. Especially using blades. That's one reason why I wanted to put a blade in here that I liked. Had I put those Dorco blades, which I know I'm just not a huge fan of, I may think this razor is not that great at all. And I try telling people all the time, you know, before you go out and spend 50, 80, $100, $200, whatever on a, on a new double edge handle, try some blades. Blades make such a huge difference. Don't be that guy that wants to get started and you know buys a hundred pack of feathers because he heard they were the sharpest. Now I will say, because of its lightweight, um, for something like squaring up my facial hair, like my, my sideburns, my goatee, I am kind of having to put a little more pressure. Not bad. I definitely think in a pinch, or on, on, you know, traveling or whatever, or for a super cheap kit, you could get by with that. 
I don't know if I'd want to make it my daily driver. But I don't think it's really designed for that. If you're someone who wants to convert from cartridges um, and you want to like try out double edge for really super cheap, that maybe is another idea for, for that PL602 from Dorco. Yeah, not bad. I was kind of like, when we talked about it um, with, my, with Marissa, the, the film person, she said, what do you want to use today? And I was like, I don't know. She said, how about the Dorco? I'm like, eh, kind of begrudgedly like, all right, let's, let's give it a shot. But yeah, it's fine. Some people even can claim it's adjustable. Goes back to that old idea from Gillette of loosening up the handle and letting a little more blade gap kind of, kind of come out of the razor. So you can do that, you know. As you can see here, I'm, if you just twist it a little bit, that blade gap really changes. Well, that wraps it up. I hope you found today's video entertaining, enjoyable. Please stay tuned to Razor Emporium's channel for all things vintage shaving. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you see all of our videos we put out. We love making content for you guys, our customers, our fans, our friends. And we'll see you next time here at Razor Emporium for all things wet shaving.